Hi everyone, today I'm trying out another recipe by Meredith Lawrence from the cookbook Delicious Under Pressure. I'm going to be making her recipe for salmon puttanesca with white beans. So let's get started. In the Instant Pot, I put in some white beans. Now, these were the dried ones. I didn't soak them or anything. I just threw them right into the Instant Pot with some water, sealed it up, and then pressure cooked it for four minutes. This wasn't the full time. Um, this was just a pre-cook, but still, four minutes. That's so fast. So I drained them off and I reserved some of the cooking liquid. And then I added in some anchovies. Now don't be afraid of anchovies, I'm telling you. They're so good, they disintegrate into the dish. They are very salty, so you don't need to add salt to your dish, but they're really good. Don't be afraid of them. <laughs> Try them if you haven't. Um, so I take out my anchovies here and I'm going to cut them up. And again, to the Instant Pot, I'm going to put in a little bit of oil and the chopped up anchovies and some garlic. We're going to saute that a little bit. And then add in some capers. I've noticed that I really like cooking with capers. <laughs> some black olives, and then a couple of cans of diced tomatoes. And about a tablespoon of tomato paste, and some crushed red pepper flakes. Then we add back in the reserved cooking liquid from the beans. the beans themselves and then season it with a little black pepper I let this saute a little bit and cook down and then I added my salmon right on top of everything Lock your lid in place. And then this cooks for just another four minutes. Super fast. <laughs> there it is, all finished. And you wanna take out your salmon and set it to the side. Take it out very carefully so it doesn't break, obviously. <laughs> And then I turned the saute mode back on and <laughs> someone got a hold of the utensils. Who knows? <laughs> who knows who that might be? <laughs> All right. So after that had simmered down a little bit, I just added the bean mixture, the bean stew really, to a bowl and then you top it with your salmon. I also air fried some asparagus to go on the side. This was really good and packed with flavor. The anchovies and the capers and the olives, it was really flavorful, really bold flavors. I liked the salmon. I do like the salmon in the sous vide a little bit better, but this was very convenient and super quick. And the salmon still was done to a good, um, good amount of doneness. It wasn't overcooked at all. I really liked it. I liked how the flavors all worked together and it was extremely fast and convenient. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later.